What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, we've got a real cool one for you. We're going to go to a Apollo 15 Gigapan. And what's in there is interesting. Some of the things stand right out. You don't have to do a thing to it. Let's just jump right into this, shall we? All right, this is the Gigapan we're going to look at. And you can see up here, it is a Panorama AP15, Apollo 15. It is a JPEG, which is not the greatest quality, but nonetheless, right? Okay, the area we're going to look at is over here on the right-hand side. Now, just so you guys know, this is a bunch of crap here, okay? This light here on the top, this is this is added. So is in this little lens flare on the bottom, and you're going to see why they did this. It's brilliant, but it's BS at the same time. You'll see what I'm talking about. Now, you may question, say, well, isn't that the sun? Well, I'm not so sure about that, because why do we have a shadow here when the sun's over there? Shouldn't the sun be behind him? Because if you check right here, this astronaut here on the left... Where's his shadow? Same place this shadow is right here in the foreground. So what's up with that over there, that light over there? So even if this is a gigapan, this is taken at a different time, it wouldn't matter. And you're going to see what exactly what I'm talking about. Let me just show you something briefly. Without having to do a thing to this photo, let me show you a little detail. It's hard to see, but just look at it carefully. Here's this weird artificial light, whatever this is. And of course, we get a lens flare, supposedly, right here. But look behind it. Right in the center of the screen, I'm doing this, is like an arch. Right there, going like this here. And guess where this little lens flare area is at? Yeah. This whole thing here is BS. This is added, okay? Let's get into this a little closer, right here. And again, put it in the middle of the screen, and check this out, right here. That's crazy, right? There's also something here in the middle of the screen. Well, it's going to be in the middle of the screen because I can actually cut out right about here and do a full enhance. But right here in the middle of the screen, what are we looking at right there? And you can see this weird design next to it. Let's jump right into this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump right into the full enhancement. But I want to show you this weird looking arch thing. Is it an arch? Here it is right here. And I drew over it to show you guys. Notice the lines. It's literally going like this. It's like thick and goes a little thinner. It goes out like this here. Of course, I did that very quickly there, but you can see that without having to do anything to this. Now, this thing I was talking about earlier. What are we looking at here? I'm not sure, but look at this part of the ground that's doing this. We can use a burn tool right here. Watch this. I'm just going to go over this real quick. And this is not what I usually do. I just, but I'm going to go over it quickly. Notice how things are starting to pop out. Okay. I'm just going to go like this. Go like this. And look at the line starting to pop out of this thing. Okay. Not sure what's going on here. But there's other things in this photo that should not be here. And guess what? It's all over this ground. In other words... All over here in the back. Have a look at this right here. If you got a magnifier, go ahead and take it out. Right here, there's a pipe coming right out. It's literally here at the end of it, the opening. Looks like it goes like this and goes out a little thinner, comes back like this and comes down. Take a good look at that, guys. That's in the photo. I didn't put it there. This is the stock photo. Now, what's in this area is cool. Notice how the blurring, here we go. The compression artifacts, are they real or are they fake? To me, they're fake. It's an overlay. Okay, and what's going on with this area here? I'm not even sure what to even make of that, right? Like I said, there's a lot of stuff here, and I'm just going to go over the foreground here briefly, but most of the stuff I see is back here, at least more legible stuff. There's something here. I'm not sure what that is. Let's jump right into the enhancement. Because what's in here, like I said, is just crazy. There is something actually coming down like this. Once you get through this artificial compression artifacts, there are things in there. I don't know if it's machines, some kind of spacecraft, structure. I don't know. You guys can give me your answer on that, what you believe this is. Okay, let's jump right into that. Okay, right here from the left-hand side, check this out. Look at this pipe thing. 
okay? But there's actually something doing this as well, right here. And you're going to see that a little bit. So there's two of these right here. There's one at the base of this one with this pipe here. But look at the pieces here. Okay. All of this has got, it's just got weird parts all in the back here. Now, let's jump over to the right-hand side. This is cool. Check this out, guys. Now, we do a little bit more enhancement besides this, but check this stuff out. There's something inside. This is all hidden behind these compression artifacts. And you're going to see this a little bit better in a moment. Because I'm going to go to the full enhancement. Check this out. All right? We got pieces inside here. Clearly, the stuff being hidden here. This piece is still here. You can see this. Okay? Going like this and over. So that was in the photo. We've seen that. Right there. It. And again, you can see it just like this, going like this, and it's starting off. But you don't see this white part until you actually use the dodge tool to bring it out. Here's that weird-looking thing laying on the ground. Not sure what to make of that. Right there. Notice, again, where these wheel marks end. I wonder why they end there. Because there's so much over here to avoid, right? Pieces up in here. And like I said, I'm going to go to a full enhancement in a second here. Weird looking pieces on the ground. But what I'm going to show you is some other weird like shapes like this right here. Here's a perfect example. Okay. There's parts over here. And they're going to come out a lot better. But there's so much in front of this astronaut and in this area. Now I'm going to back out. You guys can pause it right here. Use your magnifiers and have a better look. Okay? Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go to full enhancement and then have a better look. Okay? Now, the right-hand side, we're going to look over real quick. Right there. Check it out, guys. Again, we have these pieces coming down like this. Okay? All of these pieces under here, we can see this now better, this area right here going across. We can see that. Okay. We have these pieces sticking out here. These things are popping through. And like I said, just using the dodge tool, just going over it quick, these things start to pop out. They are, in fact, there. Again, we've seen this very part here without doing anything to this photo. So we know that it's there. Clearly it's there. Okay, folks, this part's everywhere. Again, here's this other part here doing this. In the foreground, we have something going like this here. Okay, whatever this is, it's like layered stuff. I, I don't even know what to make of this. You've got things that look like pipes. Just weird things coming out of the ground here. All in the back here, there's different objects. And again, they try to make it look like it's just completely flat. And it's not. There's much more to this area. Much, much more. Let's have a look again at these so-called hills. And you can see these little pieces sticking out. Here and there. That, you can see this round piece and some other white piece right there. Right there to some kind of weird piece, round, roundish. Right there. Something right here. Just little bits and pieces peeking out of this. Okay. This here, again, let's back up. This is crazy. Where did that lens flare go? It's right here. Funny how they try to take that out. By doing this and putting this fake light, I'm not even sure what to make of that. Because clearly, even if it was different time of day, which wouldn't make any sense because it's one pan, they just decided to go click, 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 and go right across the whole pan, it's the same day on the moon, right? So what gives? Clearly, this is fake. And by putting this on here, by doing this, we can back this out. We can see that they did something to hide these. And look at this piece of crap. What is that? Every other hillside is completely, well, we're going to call them hillsides. They're not hillsides. But right there, we can see every one of them's dark except for that one. Okay, so this one's glow in the dark and the rest of them are fine, right? <laughs> Come on, man. 
You can even see something right here where they try to take something out right here. This is not mountainsides at all. I think they're structures. I think they're actually either parts of machinery, giant pieces of machinery laying right on the surface. Now, if we were to look at the original pan real quick, just have a look, guys. We're, this is off in the background, right there on the right-hand side. And where are the astronauts? One's here, and one's going up this giant hill, right? Okay, look at the astronaut on the left. Now, suppose he's standing right here, to almost equivalent to where he's at over there. See him? He's right at the very edge of the left. Let's put him right here on this hillside right here. Okay, go back over to there. How big are these objects? See what I mean? He's right there on the left. Now let's put him on the other hillside right here. And then if he went off into the background here, how big are these pieces? It's anybody's guess, right? And again, right in the middle of that screen, we have this piece right here. Check that out. What are we looking at, guys? And again, weird looking pipes and parts and stuff sticking out. It's crazy the amount of stuff that they're hiding in these photos. Folks, they're not up there looking for rocks and dust. They're not. It's as simple as that. And you notice after I try to get through this compression artifacts, these fake ones, suddenly that lens flare almost pretty much disappears. Now, of course, you can do that with an actual burn tool anyway, but it just happens to be over this certain area. Come on. Is it merely coincidence? There's always that possibility. However, I don't think that's the case. I don't believe it's a, just a, oh, it just happened to be coincidental. Again, we've got this weird looking funky thing right here, and we have this weird ground that's near it doing that. I mean, what are the chances of that? Okay. I'm just going to back out once more. Again, have a look with your magnifiers. There you go, guys. Folks, what are we seeing here? When I started to enhance that right-hand side, I was like, wow, that, that's just cool. It looks like giant machines. It looks like, you know, clearly there's a purpose to these things. But is it a machine? Is it a structure or machines housed in a structure? Is it a spacecraft of some sort? It's anyone's guess, and we can only speculate as to what it is anyway, right? Again, on the left-hand side, we got a curved pipe coming out of the ground. We have these other rectangular pieces. And then when you fully enhance, I mean, it's just a cluster of those lines and stuff, but you can see shapes on the ground that clearly should not be there. And when I look at the astronaut on the left and I said to look at him on the right, like visualize him over there, you can imagine if he goes to the back of that, that stuff is pretty darn big. And again, notice where the wheel marks stop. Imagine that. Just happened to be all that stuff right there. That's where they stopped. They didn't keep going into that area. They stopped over to the right and then looked around and seen all of that stuff there. So again, were they up there looking for rocks and dust? I don't think so. That's just my opinion. And from what I'm seeing, I'm seeing structures or machines or some sort. Again, my opinion. You guys, as always, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share. As always, it is appreciated. And guys, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so YouTube will share it. Anyway, we have more stuff coming up. Again, on the Mars Anomalies and Beyond channel, as well as more Moon. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.